to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make these into this. Who knew Jolly Ranchers could be sculpted with? They almost look like stained glass. You could do so many different art projects with these. But today I'm just gonna show you how to make a simple flower for Valentine's Day. These are the supplies that you need for this project. You need some Jolly Ranchers. You can use popsicle sticks if you want to stick the flower onto something. It could also just be like by itself, like this one. And you need some hot water. Since we're using hot water, be careful. Make sure you don't get burnt. You can either take these out of the wrapper or you can just throw them right in in the wrapper and it'll kind of keep them from getting stuck together. So I'm just gonna throw them in the water in their wrappers. You may also need a spoon and the spoon comes in handy for checking them to see if they're soft enough. If you can press into them and kind of squish them, then they're ready. It really takes less than a minute for these to get soft depending on how hot your water is. If you leave them in there for too long, they'll just completely dissolve, so be careful. And since I am working with food, I am going to wear gloves for this tutorial. So just test it with your spoon. You can kind of take one out. I can't really bend it very much, just barely, so it definitely needs a little bit longer. Okay, I'm gonna try another one. Take the wrapper off. And this is good, so these are ready. So I can push this and bend it and kind of mold the outside edge. Make it into the shape of a petal and then press it to that popsicle stick. This also works if you have like a wooden dowel, but all I have are popsicle sticks, so whatever. I'm gonna grab the other piece that I had before, kind of make it more into the shape of a petal. So I want it to be wider on the top and a little bit more narrow on the bottom. Then stick it right to that popsicle stick. And don't worry, if pieces fall off, you can just, it's really easy to reattach them. You can see I have these two nice petals on this flower. So then I have this darker cherry. I'm smashing the one end and then I'm kind of pinching the other side. And then I'm gonna put this on the outside of these petals and I can mold it. So I can just like push it right into that popsicle stick. Then I'm gonna grab another one, unwrap it, smash the end, pinch the middle part, and then I'm gonna put it right on the other side of these petals. If you, when you're working with it, if it gets too hard to sculpt with, just put it back in the water. So I'm just gonna grab another red one. This one I'm gonna use to kind of hold it to my popsicle stick because it really is like falling off. So you can kind of look at it. I feel like this needs maybe one more petal right here, maybe. So these are so cool. Look at how easy this is to stretch and bend and fold. I mean, you could make just the possibilities are endless. So I'm just kind of pushing it onto that popsicle stick. Now let's grab some green for a leaf. Unwrap it, and then for the leaf, I don't want it to be the same shape as my petals, so I'm just gonna kind of pinch it, make it more into that leaf shape, and then press it to my popsicle stick, as well as to the other pieces of my flower. I don't want it just to be stuck to the popsicle stick and kind of bend it out. So for this one, I'm actually gonna split this one in half so that I have three petals, and I'm gonna break it in half and drop some of it back into the bowl because I want it to be really soft and easy to mold. So I'm just gonna take this leaf that I just made and press it to these other ones. You do have to be careful, because once this dries, it really is almost like glass. And then I'm gonna put the last little one right here. Just give it a little bit of definition. And there you have your flower. So now my challenge for you is to try to make a different flower using this. Make it so like the petals maybe curve in, or make it using different colors. And there you have your beautiful Jolly Rancher flower. This is such a cool project. This would be so fun to make with like a group of people or if you're just thinking of a fun activity to do for a Valentine's Day party, something like that. They're not only pretty, but they're really fun to make and they smell really good. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me today on Mr. Otter Studio. Sometimes I like to break out of the traditional art mediums and venture into food. I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day and I hope that you find somebody you can give these Jolly Rancher flowers to. Make sure you wear gloves if you want to give these to someone and have a great day.